So in 2007, there was a big flood across Gloucestershire. Um, lots of houses got flooded. The water came up to about here in this property. Um, and then afterwards, the insurance companies had all these teams of Polish builders going around and um, fixing up the houses. <clears throat> so basically, what they did was they, they SDS up to here to take off the old plaster. Now, this is a clay and lime brick wall and this plaster here is cement based so it shouldn't be there anyway that's a different matter um, and then what they did was they dot and dab and have plasterboard gypsum plasterboard but after the flood this wall became really really damp and all the others that had done like it now some people say oh you got a rising damp problem oh you need a specialist company blah 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 yeah I understand the sentiment, but first, you know, you've got to look at things and understand the mechanism. So there's a skirting board on here, so I couldn't see this, but I decided, I noticed the damp stopped about here. It didn't go much above it. Sometimes it go a little bit into this, but it was definitely, a, there's a marked difference. And this was very noticeably much damper than this. And you get the damp meters and you can tell that. So I just thought, oh, I've just got to smash it off. It's really stressful. First time I've ever really done anything like this. Um, but what I found was um, this gypsum plasterboard was down in the ground like this. So I don't know if I can get it out, but you know, when this stuff is in the ground like that, um, it wicks up moisture. So the moisture has been wicked up the gypsum plasterboard. You've got a cavity here uh, between the gypsum plasterboard and the bricks. So the bricks get really damp because there's a cavity. So you get condensation and the bricks, when I took it off, were soaking wet. And it was really stressful because you're thinking, you know, it's visibly wet. You know, you could you could feel it was wet um, and the damp meter readings were off the scale. Um, and it was really stressful time for me um like oh god what do i do you know do i need a damp proof course in here you know do i need to put dry zone rods everywhere you know and all that sort of stuff um but in this example um i've left it for three months well it's just over three months now and yeah it took time it didn't really start to dry out um until the weather changed and we improved a few other things around the property um, but it, it is drying out and most of this now, um, you can see it's bone dry. Um, and the damp meter readings are below 15% virtually everywhere. So it's a significant improvement over what it was before, before you could see it was damp. You could feel it was damp. Um, but now, um, it, you know, it is pretty much dry. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to SDS all this crap off and do it all in line, do it how it should have been done originally, you know, do it properly. Um, but I thought I'd share that just in case any of you ever have a similar problem. Um, but yeah, sometimes, you know, if you see something like that, um, you know, it might be the same mechanism. Anyway, I hope that helps. All the best.